What's up guys, Joe back to the video. And uh, for today's video, I wanted to address a couple comments I've been getting on the my last two uh, Fayutech G6 Plus videos. I did like an unboxing and my initial impression and I did like a vlog with it. And uh, one of the comments I've, I've gotten on this uh, particular gimbal is that does it work with the G7X Mark II? And uh, it works perfectly fine because I own a G7X Mark II. And uh, I have not vlogged with it yet. Um, I just hadn't really haven't had the time because so I'm about to get out of the military and it's a whole other story and a whole other video. But uh, sooner or later, I'm going to start vlogging with this uh, for a real world test. If I say that three times fast, a real, <laughs> a real world test. And uh, it works perfectly fine. It takes a little bit to balance. It is a, uh, I guess, a, collaps a collapsible lens. And uh, it does work just fine. And uh, I'm really happy with it. It doesn't have any sounds in the motor. It's a big concern of a lot of people. Um, it does everything it's supposed to do. Um, I use the, the gimbal, I guess, as face value, as a gimbal itself. I don't use the, like, I guess, the, I guess the Bluetooth interface or anything like that. Um, there's one cool part where you can push, push this uh, button in here, this little knob. And uh, you can control uh, aspects of it. This is the roll control. Then uh, the one I would probably use the most is the tilt control when walking. And um, but I typically just use it like this. You can have it in the in tilt and pan mode. It has a it has a button uh, back here where you can do the same thing. You can control the tilt and the pan. And yeah, I'm really it works just fine. Um, I don't have an RX100. Um, I've been tempted to get one just because the autofocus is a lot better, uh, at least a lot quicker. Um, the G7X autofocus is really good. It's a little bit noisy uh, when it's completely quiet. But um, I, I would think in the vlogging, whoop, the camera just retracted. When it goes to sleep, it, it, it retracts. But um, just press the button up here to get it back out. I should turn it turn completely off, but yeah, it works completely fine. Um, just want to do a quick video, I'm just kind of showing it off. The G, the Fayutech G6 Plus with the G7X Mark II, and I have no issues. I've kind of been messing with it for about a week or so, and uh, do some t kind of tests around my office and around the house, and I think it's ready to take out into the real world out into uh, somewhere in Tokyo or uh, Yokohama area and uh, was ready to take it out. Be so so busy just uh, doing life, I guess. That I really had have, have time to properly vlog anything. And uh, like I said, I'm sorry for that, but you know, life's life, you know, we get, you get busy. And uh, sometimes you have to sacrifice, you know, some time on YouTube to get your life together. Then you can kind of get back to YouTube. So, but yeah, this is a really awesome gimbal. I really like it. Um, there's probably lots of reviews, more te more technical reviews on YouTube about it. But I'm just using it as like a ordinary person who wants a gimbal for smooth footage. And I, I own a pocket camera and along with a GoPro and a phone. I tried using my phone on this and I really can't, I may have not tried hard enough, but... My, I have an iPhone uh, 8 Plus, and it, it's almost too big to fit on top of this. I'm sure it can balance, but it just it takes so long to balance. And I have another phone gimbal that I'm going to do a review on. It's right over there. And that's really awesome phone gimbal. I, I am big, a big fan of Zihoon, but it's not a Zihoon gimbal. Um, it's a budget gimbal, uh, iPhone gimbal, or I guess a phone gimbal in general. But stay tuned for that video. But yeah, for... Uh, a G7X Mark II, it works completely fine. No issues with noise, balance, or anything. I have this knob here, this knob here. It's a really awesome uh, gimbal. I like it a lot. And uh, I don't really have much else to say about the video. I was going to do some B-roll, do a vlog. I do part inside, part outside, but it's really late right now. It's like it's 8.24, so... I think tomorrow I'm going to a uh, Matsuri festival 
in uh, Koenji with some, some friends. And uh, I might bring it, I might not. Usually with hanging out with friends and stuff. Um, I just want to hang out and have a good time, drink some beers. But uh, I might bring it with me. Get some good B-roll, get some good vlog footage. But yeah, for the few comments that I had with the G7X Mark II, it does work. It works perfectly fine. Um, no issue with the motors. Like this, this uh, G7X, at least the way I have set up, it goes to sleep every few minutes. But the battery left and the gimbal is awesome. It lasts pretty much all day for all, all recordings that you can do. And G7X have a couple, a couple batteries, you know, so you got to take the, the camera off and rebalance it. But it's not too hard. It's all about just putting it on the camera in one spot. Uh, for this, for these type of cameras, you have to put it on the very farthest uh, screw hole. You probably can't see it very well. But there's three there's three slots right here. And you have to put it on the, on the farthest uh, in front. And it'll balance. I had trouble with putting it in the, the middle or the rear. It wouldn't balance. At least not very good. Putting it on the front, no problem. No jittering or anything. Um, so this is probably the one i guess setup i would use a lot i do have a lot of cameras you know a lot of big cameras but i only have one small pocket camera that's not a gopro so i'll probably use this a lot i do like g7x mark ii just the focusing is sometimes hit or miss um and the focus noise is just a little bit but yeah that's really all i had to say about this <laughs> for this uh this video uh the g7x mark ii and the Feotech uh, G6 Plus, almost forgot the name of the gimbal. Feotech G6 Plus is a great combination for a vlogger of any type. Um, if, you're, if you're in Japan or States or wherever, if you're really, I guess, on a fence about the Feotech G6 Plus, you know, I would I would get it. It's a budget gimbal, I would, I would, I would say. It has a lot of features. Um, you can use a GoPro and a phone with it. Uh, any camera that's or a phone or any type of contra contraption that's 800 grams and below, you can use it. So I would uh, recommend this gimbal for anyone that's getting into vlogging for YouTube or anything just for fun. You don't have to be a vlogger to own a gimbal. I have probably like five or six gimbals of all different sizes for all different types of cameras that I own. So there's always another gimbal coming out. So maybe you should, maybe you should wait. Maybe not, but for right now, uh, I like the Fabetech G6 Plus with the G7X Mark II. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, I hope to get videos out weekly at least. Or I know this has been about two weeks since my last video, the ramen video didn't do so well. Um, I didn't expect it to. It's it's ramen, and you know it's not really my thing. But thanks for watching that one. But I'll get back to vlogging and, I guess, uh, average Joe vlogging reviews. <laughs> or tech reviews, I'm sorry. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.